Hey guys, it's Rebecca here and welcome to another artsy video. For this video, I did Jane Porter from Tarzan. Um, Jane has always been one of my favorite Disney princesses, even though she's not an official Disney princess. Apparently they have like this whole qualification system and ceremony that takes place if they pass the qualifications and apparently she did not pass them. So she is not an official Disney princess, but I still really like her. And I mean, she is a princess, isn't she? Tarzan is like the king of the jungle, so that would make her a princess. But yeah, I really like her. Um, so I decided to draw her here. And then I used watercolors, and later I used pen on top of the watercolors. And this is my preferred medium. So far on this channel, I haven't done that. I've used Copics and pastel pencils, which I usually don't use. So. It was just kind of what I was feeling at the time, but I'm really happy I got back into my watercolors. Also, a really big benefit to having this YouTube channel that I didn't think about when I started it was that it makes me push myself and do things that I'm not so comfortable with. So it's only been recently that I started drawing more people because I just was always so unhappy with the way that they looked that I would never draw them, so I would just not know I was so bad at it. But I've been pushing myself a lot recently, and I even decided to put this one up and I think this one turned out okay. I had to draw her a couple times in my sketchbook and get a sketch that I liked that looked like her and was proportionate and everything so I'm happy with it and I hope you guys are too. I guess I should talk about the picture now. For the background I wanted to have a jungle look so I did um, maybe like bamboo in the back with some leaves and some trees and stuff like that. I don't know if it really came across that well, but that's okay. And then for her, I blocked out what would be her tank top, um, and then I blocked out the whites of her eyes and the little shine spot in her eyes with masking fluid. So that's what that is. If you guys don't know, it's not that I painted the whites of her eyes orange. I'll be able to remove that later and have the white of the paper. It was funny because when I was doing this, my fiance came and looked at it and was like, Ew, why are, why are her eyes yellow and orange? And I was like, no, no, that's masking fluid. I can take that up later. Yeah, so that's not the actual color of her eyes. That's just masking fluid to keep it white so that way if I paint over it on accident. Because I always forget to keep the whites of the eyes white and I have to go back with um, like my Sakura Jelly Roll. But in this picture, I actually didn't use any white besides the white of the paper which there are some watercolorists who are like, oh, only a real watercolorist will use whites of the paper. If you use like a, a white pen or acrylic, then it's not real watercolor. And I don't really believe that. I just wanted to try it because I usually do rely on my white pens to add white back. And I just wanted to, again, push myself and see if I could use the white of the paper for my whites. So here I'm starting to paint the skin tones on Jane's face and like I said since I don't really do that many people or I'm just starting to, I was a little lost on how to get a correct skin tone so I hope this doesn't look like she's too sunburned because I kind of think it does look a little sunburned in the end but anyway so that's what I went with and I'm learning so that's okay. I mean, that's how everyone learns, right? You make mistakes, and next time you know, maybe I won't put so much orange in the skin tone so she doesn't look so burnt. But, yeah. Anyway, so now I'm going to add, like, the darker colors, and I wanted her cheeks to be really rosy, so I tried to do that. Let me see if there was anything else I wanted to mention. Oh, yeah, so how many of you guys watched the Tarzan TV show? It was like about Tarzan after Jane had stayed there with him and it had Tantor and Turk in it and it was the best. So yeah, I think that might be why she's one of my favorite because I really liked that show when I was younger. So maybe I'll get better at it, but for now I can't think of enough things to say that will last 10 minutes. So I guess I'll let you guys go and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And if you haven't already and if you want to, I mean I wouldn't mind, you can subscribe. I put out art videos every Friday and then sometimes bonus videos on Tuesdays. So until next time, bye guys!